Hi developers, in this video what we're going to learn is how to map a, a view in the database to XPO, SAF or OData. So in this case uh, I'm going to do it like from the top, start from the beginning from a SAF application. So this will be SAF XPO OData map view. I'm going to do it only Windows, uh, that's what I need, I mean I can do it web and mobile but I just need Windows for this case and XPO, uh, I will select none for the authentication and I will not implement any module. Then in here I'm going to add two domain objects. Domain object 1 and domain object 2. Domain object one will contain just one property called name. And domain object two will contain another property called last name. So now what I need to do is change the connection string. I'm going to do it with SQL Server. But this will work in any database. So I will come here, copy the name of my server and change the name here. And then let's run this for the first time. Now it's creating the database. So, okay, it's here. Let's add a new object. This will be my name. Then I will add my brother. Then in object two, I will add our last name. Just one object. So we have two, one last name and two names. Let's close here. And now let's go to SQL Server. Let's refresh our databases. And we have this database. So in here we go to views and we're going to create a new view. We're going to add domain object one and domain object two. You can do as as you want. I mean the crazy the the query can be as crazy as you need it needed to be. In this case it shows that it's linked by the OID, but it's not true. It's, this is not how I should link the objects. Actually, I will not link them in any way. So for domain object one, I'm going to pick the OID and the name, and for domain object two, I'm going to just pick the name, the last name. So you can do as complex query as you need there. And here I will save, and this will be domain view. You can name it as you want also. So if I do refresh here, I have the view and if I run it, I have the OIDs, the name and the last name. So after that, what I'm going to do is, let's go to the studio. And here, I'm going to add another persistent object. This will be domain view. And this needs to match uh, the name of the view. If it doesn't match, you will need to use the persistent attribute. And the same goes for the properties. So, XPS name, XPS last name, and XPO for object. Kid, and this is OID. So I will change the inheritance from base object to XP light object. 
and after that I will set this as the key and the auto generate will be false and that's it now we can run it and this will be will contain our our view so if we open the domain object view here we have Jose Manuel Ojeda Melgar Oscar Ojeda Melgar and basically it's the same result that our query give us so if we add another name uh, I'm going to add my mom Ana Maria I will go to the last names uh, to the domain view and let's refresh it now we have also my mom in the list so basically there are some things that you want to do with this first is oh I'm going to run it to show you in here it shows uh, uh, in the new menu you can create a domain view so basically you don't need that so for that you just put this to protect the, the constructor and after that you can do also so you don't want them to delete the records or to save them so protected override on saving and protected override on deleting and here we're going to throw new not implemented exception and here is you, you can and also the same with delete And here is the view now in the new menu, it doesn't show. And here I can edit and everything. But when I save, it will throw an exception. Here is the exception. This is a view, you can save the object. The same goes for delete. And well, that's uh, pretty much what you need to do. Uh, this is really useful. We discussed this idea with a partner yesterday. He's from Dominican Republic. and. He told me, like, Jose, how can I create a view and see it in SAF? So then I read something about it and told him, like, hey, this is what you need to do. And it's really, really useful, especially for reports. So, well, basically, that's everything for the video. And in any case, you can write me uh, here in the channel or send me a message. My information will be in the video also. Bye.